My name is Yuan Bing Wei. The demo we are showing here is 5G shared spectrum. Traditionally, the wireless industry had been focused on licensed spectrum, but there are three categories of spectrum we can use. Licensed spectrum, uh, shared spectrum, and unlicensed spe spectrum. Moving forward, we think 5G shared spectrum will play an even more important role uh, for 5G service. So based on years of experience of LTLAA and Multifire, which is another alliance that deploys cellular service using unlicensed spectrum only. Moving forward to 5G, we see two paths. One path will continue follow the similar path as LTE, where we will combine 5G NR radio uh, with all the technology we had developed for LTLAA and Multifier as a foundation for the one pass. That would be great uh, addition to the existing te technology where we can use 5G uh, technology for those bands, especially bands that has already a lot of uh, devices uh, uh, in it. Meanwhile, we feel uh, 5G is a real opportunity where we can introduce another path, what we call the revolutional path, uh, where we can introduce the notion of coordination, time synchronization, and other advanced technologies where we can significantly improve the utilization of shared and unlicensed spectrum. And in this demo, we're gonna show some of the examples we're doing. We don't stop at the paper design, we actually build a prototype uh, in our campus. In this setup, we have uh, uh, two operators left, left and right. And for each operator, we have two base stations serving two devices. At this time, we're setting the baseline where the two operators basically taking turns uh, between them. As you can see from this uh, setup, not only we see the signal from the you know, desired base station, but also we see the inference from neighboring cells. So that's not desirable. As a result, the SNR for the users are pretty low. So what we can improve moving forward is what we call TDM COMP. COMP stands for Coordinated Multipoint. The idea be, uh, behind this is the signal for both devices not just transmitting from one base station, but from both base stations. As a result, the user's SNR greatly improved and also their, their throughput improved significantly. These are the blue bar and the red bar, but also the OO system throughput. By eliminating intercell interference, we actually uh, reduce the impact of cell edge. That greatly improved the uh, user experience consistency across the whole coverage areas. Another phenomenon for 5G is we are moving to higher frequency band. We are using more antennas. As a result, the transmission become very directional. That gave us another opportunity, uh, another dimension, which is a spatial dimension we can leverage to improve the sharing, uh, which will be the next step what we are trying to show uh, in SDM CAM. SDM CAM stands for Spatial Domain Multiplexing. In this case, unlike previous step where the two operators need to take turns, because we can leverage spatial domain, the two operators no longer need to take turns. They can transmit all the time. That greatly improves the duty cycle for both operators. And as a result, the user throughput went from the blue bar all the way to the purple. And also the overall system throughput going from the baseline to three times. In our simulation with different setup, we even see higher uh, improvement. In summary, uh, for 5G, as we go to higher frequency band and more antennas, spatial domain provide another dimension. We can greatly improve the utilization of a shared and unlicensed spectrum and also improve user experience.